Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to see how to utilize command line interface tool in Loadrunner 12.60. In this newer version, now you can automate scenario runs using this command line interface tool. So you can uh, execute your scenarios using uh, your LRS file or you can input your XML file and you can do a lot of steps like uh, you can pull the scripts from any source control and you can dynamically allocate uh, dockerized load generators and also you can run scenarios from any CI tool. So in this uh, demo we are going to see how to execute uh, a simple uh, scenario using this command line interface tool. So the prerequisite is you need a valid uh, uh, scenario. So uh, this is my uh, controller. As you see the version is 12.60 here and uh, I have one script here and uh, I'm going to execute this uh, script for about one minute using my uh, local host as a load generator. So now uh, let me save this and uh, let me uh, close this uh, analysis controller. Now uh, open command prompt. So there are a, a couple parameters you need to pass. So the first thing is you need to locate where the uh, CLI uh, tool is being uh, uh, placed in your uh, local system. So if you go to uh, C drive uh, program files 86, uh, micro focus, uh, load runner and bin folder. So there you can see CLI controller app dot exe. So just uh, copy this path and go to your command prompt and type CD and paste the path and press enter. So now uh, you are ready to use your uh, CLI uh, tool. So here you need to pass uh, the input type and whether it is an XML or LRS and you need to mention the path of your uh, the LRS file or XML file. Then you have to instruct uh, uh, the tool uh, what you need to do. For example, if you want to run or if you want to collate and analyze or you want to uh, collate. So right now it supports the three parameters run, collate and collate analyze. So we will see how to pass those arguments. So I have already uh, uh, formulated the uh, uh, the overall uh, syntax here. So it starts with a hyphen uh, test path and you need to uh, paste your uh, load runner uh, scenario. So this is where I have uh, stored my uh, scenario and next uh, uh, parameter is uh, I'm going to run and uh, I need to uh, store the uh, results in this path C controller and res results folder. So this one you have to create uh, uh, well before before you start executing the uh, command. So now uh, I'm going to press enter key. So now it is it is displaying the status as uh, controller is uh, starting and what will happen is it will invoke the controller. Uh, you can visually see it in your system. Then it will start your scenario and for each status you can uh, this uh, 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 notification will be uh, printed here. So right now my controller is getting st starting and it is connecting to the server. So now uh, it is uh, invoking the controller.welrun.exe uh, and then uh, it is uh, uh, it will open my scenario. Then it will uh, connect to my local host, uh, the load generator. So just ignore this error, uh, just click OK, uh, never mind. And now you can see the scenario status is pending. So now we will go to this uh, notification here. So here you can see uh, setting results path, uh, start run, uh, wait for scenario end. So I have scheduled for one minute and right now it is uh, elapsed time is around 20 seconds. Probably we will come back after 40 seconds and then we will see uh, what's hap what will happen uh, to this uh, command prompt. So now uh, my controller uh, uh, scenario execution is completed and you can see the status has been updated here run finished received and controller is closing so controller is closing means it will kill the process of wl run.exe and then uh, it will uh, display the uh, appropriate uh, notification in the command prompt so as the last step it is saying uh, controller closed successfully and then it will come back to your uh, the previous uh, state so this is how you automate your scenarios so this particular demo, I have uh, uh, used the dot LRS, but uh, you can use XML as well. XML will give you more uh, flexibility where you can uh, pull the uh, uh, 
uh, scripts from uh, repositories and you can um, allocate the uh, dockerized lgs etc so that's it guys from my side uh, please uh, like uh, qa insights channel for more such tutorials if you have a time please go to my next tutorial thanks for watching